that you want to come and speak to. Uh, if there's something on mining and CS Mvuria, you have not seen anybody asking a question. If you talk to me, I can get a member of parliament to generate a question that will offer you an opportunity to come and espouse on what you want to do <laughs> on the agenda of mining. Si swali ni swali. Na kwenye inatoka, si ohoja, bora ni ujumbe ifikie wenye inafaa kufikia. And by speaking to members of parliament from the floor of the house, you will also have an opportunity to speak to the country uh, at a prime time when uh, many Kenyans are watching. And I'm happy uh, cabinet secretaries like uh, the Honorable Kipchumba Murkomen has uh, done very well in taking advantage of even very difficult questions. I remember when there was a question on the allocation of resources to roads and CS Murkomen was able to turn around the question and put it back to parliament itself. And uh, I remember when he left the house, uh, those of us who are members of the budget committee and uh, the roads committee were pleading with the Honorable Murkomen to please not appear back in the house. On the Kamukunji, he promised that he would even want an opportunity to have a Kamukunji with members of parliament. So I want to encourage other cabinet secretaries, please take time, uh, CS uh, Florence, um, on the uh, jobs uh, in the diaspora and uh, other opportunities, CSOALO on the online jobs uh, through the ICT hubs uh, to use the floor of the house to be able to market what we are doing as a government. Uh, Your Excellency, I know there are also some touchy issues that you'll be speaking to, issues that touch on um, our conduct also as members of parliament, our participation in the house, how as members of parliament who are on the government side ought to carry ourselves on in the house and even outside the house. We've had a number of challenges, a few of them, where, for instance, and this is the best case example, Your Excellency, we have delays in disbursement of NGCDF. Um, and you remember the no, no CDF? It was no CDF, no what? No parliament. <laughs> uh, and I, Your Excellency, I will often find myself on the receiving end, <laughs> being the leader of the house and being the person who ought to be representing the cabinet secretary when he's not there. And you can imagine the situation I find myself in when we have our own members who are leading in the protest of no CDF, <laughs> no parliament, <laughs> and they're behind me. And across, on the other side of the floor, there's a whole <laughs> brigade of our colleagues from the minority side in the same chorus. So we need to socialize ourselves now that uh, there is no other government other than ourselves. On the floor of parliament, there is no government. It is us who are government on the floor of the house. And therefore, even when there's an agenda that... Um, is not uh, pro-government per se, or where we think government in a way has slackened uh, uh, possibly, and I gave the case example of NGCDF because it also touches on me. And you see the way I also struggle when I'm speaking to say I don't speak for any cabinet secretary, including Professor Ndungu. I speak as a representative of the people of Kikuyu today on NGCDF. Uh, but we do so with caution so that we also do not in any way inside the house, not to carry on with business. Our case example, members are signing signatures to impeach a cabinet secretary on account of non-disbursement of NGCDF. And you find a member of Kenya Kwanzaa <laughs> signing <laughs> to impeach a cabinet secretary on non-disbursement of NGCDF. <laughs> and it is within our right but I just want to say, Your Excellency and Honorable Members, it is in our right to oversight these cabinet secretaries, but also to appreciate that all the challenges that we face as a country and as a government, there are no other leaders that we are looking up to to resolve those challenges. We must be part of the solution. And I know we have had challenges with the uh, exchequer releases, 
we have uh, really harassed uh, CS uh, Ndungu and PS Kipto on NGCDF. But I just pleading for some understanding. In fact, Your Excellency, I was engaging a number of us, a number of chairs of committees, and reminding ourselves last year, which was the second session after the elections, and when just before we did our first budget, we will all remember the first NGCDF disbursement was done at the end of February, the very first one. And by June 30th, Your Excellency, 100% of our NGCDF disbursement had been done for the first time since I joined Parliament in 2013. It was the first time that we had NGCDF being disbursed 100%. This time, we have had the same challenge as Your Excellency. The first disbursement of NGCDF uh, uh, was done early January. Uh, 10 billion shillings, and the CS National Treasury has committed to a disbursement of 10 billion shillings every month to ensure that by the end of the financial year again, we have 100% uh, disbursement of NGCDF. So it is that kind of understanding that I want to plead with all of us because we know the challenges, Your Excellency, you've had with the uh, uh, debt repayment. I know uh, there is some very bright light at the end of the tunnel now with the opportunities that come with the resolution of the issues to do the, the euro bond and uh, a lot of uh, receipts coming from our development partner <coughs> ladies and gentlemen eric omondi upper president of comedy africa yo yo this is kushman pedi wa magenge mambo vipi watu wangu nairobi na kenya mzima subscribe kwa stories za nini 254 across all social media platforms hapana kuchanganya Na wende dori subscribe right now. Fina sai. Sa wewe fina.